At two Miami area mosques, two of the men arrested served as imams or Muslim spiritual leaders. 76 year old Hafiz Khan and one of his sons, 24 year old Izar. Another son was one of the four others indicted. Prosecutors say they provided money and aid to the Pakistani Taliban, considered by the U.S. to be a terrorist group with links to al Qaeda and the Taliban in Afghanistan. We cannot and, and will not uh, let America be used uh, as a funding source uh, for terrorists. The Pakistani Taliban claimed responsibility for suicide attacks that killed at least 80 people in Pakistan this week. The U.S. also believes last year's failed plot to bomb Times Square was planned and funded by the group. This sends a very specific message to the Pakistani Taliban. We will go after you in Pakistan, as, we, as the U.S. government has shown, and we will also go after your support networks around the world, including in the United States. Authorities say between 2008 and 2010, the defendants transferred at least $50,000 to Pakistan, some of it to buy guns. In a 2010 recorded phone conversation, officials say one of the men, Hafiz Khan, upon hearing that Mujahideen in Afghanistan had killed seven American soldiers, declared his wish that God bring death to 50,000 more. Justice officials stressed Islam was not their target. This is an indictment against six individuals, not against a religion and not against a particular community because extremists come from all places. And as we mentioned, five of the six indicted are family members. Three people are believed to be somewhere in Pakistan. The three men arrested in the United States are due to appear in court on Monday. Russ. Elaine Kihano, thank you very much.